Cape Town's biggest power purchase, tender of 500 megawatts, will be issued for competitive proposals on the open market tomorrow. Mayor Jordan Hill Lewis says the city is still on track to offer protection from the first four stages of rolling blackouts within the next three years. But in order to reduce the power cuts, one has to combine renewable energy from both wind and solar power and store it in using batteries. Asha Ismail visited a lithium battery plant in Cape Town and brings us the story. With seemingly no end in sight to the rolling blackouts, more and more people are opting for alternative energy solutions. Businesses are investing in solar panels and generators to keep their businesses running. Our main purpose is to build lithium-ion batteries, which is energy storage solutions. And these energy storage solutions go into uh, businesses and uh, plants all over the world in different applications, from uh, snow-covered peats to sub-Saharan Africa. Their biggest focus at the moment is telecommunications. Uh, bat batteries go into cell phone towers and uh, these power the cell phone towers during load shedding in South Africa but also power uh, cell phone towers permanently in Africa with a combination of solar and generators to reduce the amount of diesel fuel that they use when powering their sites. He says energy storage is a great alternative to diesel. Anything from hospitality which is hotels, you know, hotels are running on diesel generators at the moment, which make a big noise and it's not great for the customers and tourism, uh, to hospitals where it's essential that there's a seamless um, cut over to the energy source like a battery when there's a power failure. So anything from smaller industries like a plant like us to big industry like mining. So literally any form of industry that you can think of in South Africa, we will be able to keep the lights on and keep it running in a sustainable way. Haber says in less than a year they were able to manufacture 15,000 batteries and that number is increasing. 80% of the batteries produced here are exported. They have around 100 staff members and most are trained on the job. Okay, yeah, I'm busy in closing the batteries, a lithium battery, yeah. I'm putting the side plates here. Yeah. Oh, I did learn here. Yeah. It was a great experience to learn here yeah. and a good opportunity. So here yeah, I'm connecting the front module, which we use to switch on the circuit brake and the battery. I, I, we connect it here yeah, at this station. Afterwards, he comes and closes it. But before I do it, he also run the test. Haber says there are enough people in the industry in South Africa who are willing to help. He also says most are willing to invest in renewable energy and energy storage. He says cutting the red tape will make it easier for businesses to put their excess energy onto the grid. Aisha Ismail, Cape Town.